Hi, it's uh, Keith in Lobate, CEO of Chainfrog here, and I thought I would respond to a question that Steve Frost asked on a previous video, namely if I could talk a bit about database integration and blockchain. And that was quite an amusing question for me because it takes me back about a year when Chainfrog had its first product, Blockbinder, which was exactly about that, uh, or in fact, to use its formal definition, um, connecting portions of and synchronizing heterogeneous uh, databases through the means of a blockchain. Um, so we had this idea that we could forego all the blockchain hassles by providing people with a familiar interface to blockchain, namely the database. Um, and in fact, if you look at blockchains, the first thing a blockchain engine does after it's synced up with the uh, chain is to extract all the transactions and all the data from the blockchain and put it into a database. And the reason for that is that databases are optimized for updates and for search uh, in the way that, say, a spreadsheet is optimized for calculations and visual display, or a file system is optimized for space, so efficient storage. Um, and so you can ask the question, what's a blockchain uh, optimized for? And I think the answer to that is probably uh, building a single view of the truth, uh, trust and consensus. So um, in a way, all the uh, databases in blockchain engines are actually all interconnected through a blockchain. Um, and it makes perfect sense to me to uh, actually provide the database as the interface to a blockchain system. Um, unfortunately, what we discovered in Chainfrog is that the database industry is very conservative. Um, in uh, Jeffrey Moore's uh, Crossing the Chasm description of the industry, I would characterize it as a late adopter or even laggard industry. So uh, when we launched our uh, leading edge um, blockchain connecting um, database system, uh, we weren't going to find a market. Uh, database administrators, uh, rightfully, are probably the most conservative of the uh, technical population out there. Um, because the risks of losing data and the penalties of that are just too high. Um, so that's kind of my overview of blockchain and databases. I think as the blockchain infrastructure gets more mature and uh, products become more robust and reliable and everybody becomes more familiar with the uh, blockchain infrastructure, we'll just find that uh, blockchains become another part of the DBA's arsenal. Um, and as the business cases become clearer, it'll be obvious that for certain things, say financial transactions or um, authentication, authority, an immutable log of administrator activities, those kind of things, the blockchains are going to play a uh, significant part. But I think we're still a year or two away from that at the very least. So uh, Steve, that's my take on blockchain and database integration. I hope it was useful for you and uh, hope to see you all again for the next video. Bye bye.